The Connecticut woman attacked by a chimpanzee last month is recovering at a hospital in Ohio. The chimp viciously attacked Charla Nash, causing severe injuries, especially to her face, and she remains in critical condition. Joining us now for an update on Charla Nash's condition is her twin brother, Michael, and Dr. Kevin Miller from Stanford Hospital, who was Nash's attending surgeon. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Thank you for being here, Michael. You're I welcome. know it's a difficult time, and I'm very sorry for what you're going through. Mm -hmm. So before I ask you about Charla, let me ask you how you're doing. Well, I'm focused on uh, my sister and her daughter, making sure they're uh, in the best place they need to be right now and uh, uh, to get through this. It's How is she doing? Uh, Charla is still critical, but stable, uh, just kind of day by day uh, progress. Uh, Got to watch out for things like infection and everything. What do you see uh, when you look at Charla? Is she bandaged? Uh, not recognizable. But uh, the first night, uh, her daughter wanted to go in and see, and I kind of recommended not to, but she wanted to. And I went in with her, and we stood there. You know, we said our prayer, uh, and then you know we left. And she says I, I could recognize her so it's let's go back to the day it happened that's the day that you saw her in the emergency room doctor Correct. what did you see when she came in well she was wrapped her face was wrapped in gauze and there was a lot of blood at the scene um, she also had both her upper extremities her hands were wrapped at that time too uh, stanford ems brought her in as fast as they could um, at that time there as i stated was a lot of blood loss um, and we went into our trauma mode immediately uh, with the emergency room and uh, our team at Stanford Hospital and began resuscitating her on the spot. Once you removed the gauze, you realized the extent of her injuries? Absolutely. They were extensive. Uh, most I'd actually ever seen for a facial trauma. Her hands were also very severely damaged at the time to, of the attack. Did you think this is somebody that, that we can save? This is somebody who can recover? Well, she, when she came in, she was moving her extremities and, and actually was following some of my commands. I was like, this is one tough woman. Wow. And, and so I knew that we had a fighting chance. What is the prognosis for someone with that extent of injuries, but yet with that will? Well, the will is, I think, is the most important thing here. In, in addition to, you know, the physician support, but it, it is going to be a long term. As Mike was saying, it's day by day with yeah. her. We really have to worry about infection with all that extent of, of injury, and also her neurologic status is really what's important now. If we can get her, if uh, over time to improve there, then we can absolutely be a candidate for reconstruction down the road here. What do you need right now and want from the public? We need a lot of help. Uh, you know. Uh, for a trust fund, we set up a trust fund called Nash uh, Trust.com uh, and a website. Uh, and her daughter's working on a website, and people who know Charla, and there's a lot of people just know her as a, a giving person, just special. Uh, you know, an average person in life, but everybody knows her as Charlie. Do you see having your sister back with any quality of life? That's, I hope so, because she was so independent and uh, dedicated to her daughter and, uh, you know, very involved with the daughter, her friends and everything that, uh, like I say, everywhere you go, uh, they know her as Charlie. Well, our uh, prayers are with Charlie and with your family this morning. Thank you so much. Thank you. Michael, doctor, appreciate your time.